Hi, my name is Gavin Bottrell. My website's hickorygolf.co.uk. In this short video, I'm going to showcase a few of the replica long nose golf clubs that I've made over the past year. I started making clubs in 2007. Um, I have not had any formal training. It's just something that I've learned my, to, uh, how to do by a bit of trial and error. So these are the golf clubs that I'm going to be talking about in this video. This one here is a replica of what's called a Schotzi clique, which is um, a club that dates from the mid 1600s. A few years ago, I was lucky enough to find one of only two known wooden heads and this is a replica that I've made. The genuine article is very um, aged and split, so it has a fruit wood head, it has lead in the back, and then there's three holes that were drilled from the front face right through the head, and the lead is melted and put into the cavity and it comes out the front of the, the face there. There is a small hole just like on the original, sorry, a small nail just like on the original that is through the end of the shaft there. It's a scare neck, scare join, so nothing goes into each other but the head, the top of the head is about there and then that's just a straight line join that's glued and whipped with linen whipping. The shaft is hazel. Now the original uh, genuine heads that have been found, uh, the one I obtained which was actually found in London and the one that was found in Holland in the city of Leiden, the, they didn't come with any shafts. Uh, but what we know from um, actually some accounts and particularly a poem that was written in the mid 17th century was that they had shafts made of hazel wood and this indeed is a piece of hazel that I acquired and fashioned into a shaft for this replica. It has a simple cloth grip wound on it and you can see how you can quite easily distinguish hazel is that there's a very central little uh, piece of heartwood and then annular rings uh, for each year's growth. It's quite a long club this, uh, I think I've made it about 44 inches from memory. So that's the Schotzer clique and that is listed on my website. Then I have a uh, what I would term a, a long spoon or a grass driver. So that's a, almost a, a play club but with a little bit more loft. And this one I've stamped H. Philp for the great Hugh Philp. And I've copied an original club in terms of dimensions. All these clubs have a similar scare neck join so uh, linen whipping then covered with black pitch tar and a ram's horn front slip and this one's club number 22 so then we have club number 24 this is stamped T Morris And this is a play club. That's the lead. That's the horn. The grip on this one is actually leather. So it's split leather, what's called. And then I've put over it and rubbed into it some um, tar, which gives it a very 
uh, authentic feel and this is actually what they used to do. If you've ever had the opportunity to inspect old long nose clubs, a lot of the grips have tarred grips. The next one is club number, let me just check, 25. That's the lead. And this again is really a, a play club, so a driver. And this one's stamped H Philp. Similarly, it's got a leather grip with a very fine covering of tar. It gives it a very, very nice feel. This one is club number 21, and that's stamped T. Morris. So the final two clubs I'm going to show in this video are two putters that I've made and both of these are stamped T. Morris. I do quite like to make my clubs with a bit of a rasped file face here. You don't see it on all genuine long nose clubs, but on a lot of them it is evident particularly the earlier the club. So this one is, let's see what number this one is. That's number 30. In fact, that's I think the very last club I've made just a few weeks ago. And this one is 29. <laughs> so I made these in succession. Um, these both actually have ash shafts in them, but they're very nice and strong and they could be played with absolutely no problem. Let's see if we can just pick out the slightly different shading. Only very marginally club number 30 on the left is just slightly lighter. I do make them so that they've got a, a slightly weathered type look to them. This one here, one I showcased a few minutes ago, which is number 21, that's a very uniform stain and you can see the difference there. But if you're watching this video and you'd like one of these clubs, you can contact me um, via my website or my email, which is info at timewarpgolf.com, or you can find me on Facebook, and I can make you a club to order, and you can specify whether you want it uh, a uniform stain or a, a more weathered, aged look. So that's it from me. I should say both of these have grips again which have had uh, this one is a bit more of a softy leather feel and this one is a bit more of a, a tarred leather feel okay well I hope you've enjoyed this video and um, please subscribe to my channel if you've uh, liked it or uh, enter some comments in the comment box below thanks for watching bye